Awesome Toy Reviews, Book Edition. Welcome to this special book edition of Awesome Toy Reviews. Today, Ravings of Love and Death, a collection of short stories and poems by Edgar Allan Poe, which have been fully illustrated by Spanish artist David G. Ferez. This eight and a half by 11, 184 page book contains over 120 illustrations. This book was published via the funds from a Kickstarter campaign launched in April of 2014. I chose the $65 Insane Edition, which included a 48-page sketchbook of David's illustrations. This reward also included a vinyl recording of the original soundtrack, which you are listening to right now, composed by Teal Grimont. Also included was a gicle print of Edgar Allan Poe entitled Master of Macabre. The stretch goals also allowed for the inclusion of a cotton tote book bag, creepy temporary tattoos, and three buttons. Another quality upgrade that this book features is a gloss embossing that is found on the front and the back cover. In addition, the campaign offered a perverseness and grotesque edition, which included a handmade slipcase and more creepy exclusive details. This book was published by Play Attitude, and their goal was to create a unique work of art that used multi-sensorial storytelling. In total, the Kickstarter campaign exceeded its goal by $20,000, raising more than $88,000 and almost 1,000 supporters. Spanish illustrator David Ferez was inspired by other graphic artists who had also explored Poe's work, including Richard Corbin, Bernie Wrightson, and Jose Ortiz. One of the panels contains an homage to characters that have inspired the illustrator. During the campaign, David and the Play Attitude team did an excellent job providing funders with updates on the project. He released this book in both English and his native Spanish language. Now, let's take a deeper look into this creation. There are eight stories and poems collected here. These include The Telltale Heart, The Oval Portrait, Annabelle Lee, The Mask of the Red Death, Hop Frog, The Raven, The Facts in the Case of M. Valdemar, and The Black Cat. Each story begins with its own title page. What sets this book apart beyond its beautiful graphics and illustrations is its unique typesetting. The graphic design and typesetting is by Carlos Roos. Looking here at this page, you can see how the eye of the character is offset by the hole created in the typeset words. Here, as the protagonist kills the old man, we see as his heart beats throughout the story. Another fine example of typesetting is in the oval portrait, where the words are laid out to mimic the shape of the portrait on the opposing page. And here, a grotesque grouping of chained apes is mimicked wonderfully by the words describing the scene. At the back of the book, there are a few extras, including sketches. There's notes and trivia for each of the stories. And at the very back, there is also an acknowledgement page for all the Kickstarter contributors who helped raise funds for the publishing of this book. And now a portion from Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart. And have I not told you that what you mistake for madness is but over acuteness of the senses? Now I say there came to my ears a low, dull, quick sound, such as a watch makes when enveloped in cotton. I knew that sound well too. It was the beating of the old man's heart. 
It increased my fury as the beating of a drum stimulates the soldier into courage. But even yet, I refrained and kept still. I scarcely breathed. I held the lantern motionless. I tried how steadily I could maintain the ray upon the eye. Meantime, the hellish tattoo of the heart increased. It grew quicker and quicker, and louder and louder every instant. The old man's terror must have been extreme. It grew louder. I say louder every moment. Do you mark me well? I have told you that I am nervous, so I am. And now the dead hour of the night, amid the dreadful silence of that old house, a noise so strange as this excited me to uncontrollable terror. Yet for minutes longer, I refrained and stood still. But the beating grew louder and louder. I thought the heart must burst. And now a new anxiety seized me. The sound would be heard by a neighbor. The old man's hour had come. With a loud yell, I threw open the lantern and leaped into the room. He shrieked once, once only. In an instant, I dragged him to the floor and pulled the heavy bed over him. I then smiled gaily to find the deed so far done. But for many minutes, the heart beat on, a muffled sound. This, however, did not vex me. It would not be heard through the wall. At length, it ceased. The old man was dead. Ravings of Love and Death, a collection of Edgar Allan Poe stories, illustrated by David Forez and published by the Play Attitude team, brings this collection of stories to a modern audience. Their desire for this collection to be a multi-sensual experience more than exceeds its goal. Taking these 19th century tales and running a chill down the spine of any reader from the 21st century.